Did you know that you can now create Lottie animations directly from our Figma plugin? Yes, that's correct. You can now export frames or prototypes directly without even leaving Figma. My name is Nishi and I'm here to show you exactly how you can do that. So usually, after creating your visuals, you would pass them on to a motion designer to get them animated on a software like After Effects. But guess what? We've got a really cool feature that simplifies this entire process and allows you to create instant animations from our Lottie Files plugin for Figma. Now let us say that you want to animate a single frame, like this one over here. For that, first navigate to the Export to Lottie section of our plugin and then simply click on the export to Lottie button. And voila, that's all it takes to animate your design. Now as you can see, there are a bunch of presets available over here that will allow you to experiment and play with your animation. For example, there are a bunch of options over here in the move-in section. And we have a few more here in the move-out section as well. And once you're happy with your animation, you can either insert it as a GIF or even save it to your workspace. But what if you have an entire prototype setup that you would like to animate? No problem. This time, just select your flow from the drop down over here. And there you have it. And now once again, you could either insert it as a GIF or save it to your workspace. Now let's see what happens when we insert it as a GIF. So just click on the button over here and choose the size that you would like to go with. And there you go. Now let me quickly place this on the empty frame over here and let us preview it to make sure it works fine. Nice. You can also create animations from just a bunch of frames by selecting all of them together and hitting export to Lottie. You don't even need a prototype setup. And once again, you have the options of inserting as a GIF or saving it to your workspace. Now this time, let us save this to our workspace. Now just choose the folder or the location of where you would like to save your animation. And in your workspace, you have a lot of options to customize your animation. From over here, you could choose a background color and you can customize it even further by choosing an already existing color palette or you could create your own too to match or suit your design needs better. You could also tweak the speed of your animation from here. And once again, you can choose to insert your modified animation as a GIF or again save these changes on your workspace. This option over here will allow you to change the status of your animation. And developer handoff becomes super easy with Workspace 2. In the discover section over here, you could view all the animations that are already available in our library for you to use. You could even type in here to search for a specific animation that you're looking for. And right over here, you have all the options of customization as I showed you before. Now, this is where you can access your workspace from. So here, you will be able to see all the projects that you've been working on. And this one here is the animation that we just saved a while ago. And this is it for this video. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. This is Nishi signing off and hope you have a wonderful day ahead.